So one of the, one of the ways that this was originally set up uh, when David Polinchek first put this together was the idea that we uh, he'd been to all kinds of panels. I think all of you have been to all kinds of panels, talking about millennials. I don't know how many people are over millennials, but millennials, and then digital natives. But he'd never seen it when the digital natives are actually on stage talking to you. So uh, he worked with uh, Sydney uh, to put together a presentation by South by Southwest, and they said, you know, it'd be kind of nice to have a counterpoint. So we have very tech involved, Will less tech involved, Sydney. And as we go through this, you'll actually see some of these differences surface to give you an idea of what's actually going through their head and how they conceptualize some of the things that we kind of take for granted. Tell us really quickly, what do you do? Okay, do you like? so I'm William. I'm very interested in technology, oh, maybe programming, they still computer science, and that kind of thing. The, what are the three things that you would never let me take away from you because they're so important to your daily life? My PC. Okay. Lovingly built and cared for. <laughs> you you love it. Yes. Okay. And probably my phone and I'm not sure what comes third place actually. Just those two things and you're yeah. fine. That's basic. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sydney. Sydney, have a free. Um, I'm Sydney. I'm like the normal non techie person. I really hate math. Um, <laughs> and I really like animals. Um, so my three things would be my dog, my foster puppies. Okay, wait a second, I forgot to say. Only one of them can be an animal. Keep going. Okay, my dog. There's nothing else really, <laughs> that's kind of it. When I say social media, what does that actually mean to you guys? Um, for me, I guess it's just any way of communication that is that uses technology <laughs> and so would like I use Evernote to talk with my friends we have a notebook and we have a talking note and we just like talk to each other in there and that's social media too so Evernote's a part of social media how do you tell us about that because when I think of uh, Evernote I don't think of social media how is that why would you consider that social media because the way that my friends and I have set it up, it's basically a Tumblr page, except it's not online. Okay. So we just, we have a bunch of different notes. We have like a talking note, a random craft note, um, a bunch of other notes, and we just put whatever we want in there, and we just look at it whenever we want and do whatever okay. we want with it. Do you, do you use some of the, because if I asked the group out here what social media was, I don't think they, they use Evernote. What about Twitter, Facebook, um, Snapchat, Pinterest? I actually recently got a Snapchat over the summer because I worked at a barn as a camp counselor and my friend wanted me to send her pictures and it took too long to text them. So she downloaded Snapchat for me. Um, and Twitter, I have it. I used it to tweet about the quest and then it kind of died. And Facebook, I only got to complete a Sims quest, and I haven't really looked at it since. To me, a social network is really anything that can move social interaction out between physically, like two people in the same space, to two people or more just interacting through the internet and through technology. So what other stuff falls into that, uh, that definition for you? Well, I do host a TeamSpeak server for all of my friends, and we've been using it a lot recently to study for midterms together and share notes and that kind of stuff. Stuff, And I generally don't go for the sort of bla traditional like blast-based social media, like you have thousands of followers and send out a message to everybody. I, and I think many other digital natives like me are sort of slowly moving to more tribe-based stuff, where it's you and a closer group of friends and it's more individual. When you look at this, we just ask you this question. <clears throat> what do you think about this? Is this you? Is this your friends? Or who are these people that are answering these questions? Well, it is entirely accurate that nobody uses MySpace anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. How about the rest of it? I think Tumblr should be higher up there. What does um, Tumblr do for you? What is Tumblr good at? I honestly have no idea. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I guess, like, give you a laugh during science class. <laughs> okay, all right. How about for you? Is that is that true to your life? Somewhat. I find it surprising that 4chan beat out Google+. Plus. I think that's slightly telling. I have telling. no idea what 4chan is. Okay, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> 
the much, much, much older generation think about you guys. We say, oh yeah, all day long they're on social media. Isn't that true? To a certain degree. Like, again, it's the when you're late, when you're waiting in line at Starbucks or whatever and you need to kill time, that's what you go to. But it isn't what you'd go to if you have like a lot of time and would like to have a really nice experience and actually enjoy what you're doing a lot. Social media is like very superficial. Okay. Well, I think that changes for some people because um, my friend Rebecca actually is like constantly on Tumblr. She devotes like hours to like making her Tumblr look as pretty as it possibly can. And I think it's kind of creepy, but that's what she does. <laughs> So how are you specifically? Social media. You talked about some of the other things that you're using instead of Facebook or, or Snapchat that you did just over the summer. What's, why do you use it at all? I connect with people. So like during a, um, in between classes or something, I would like go on Google Plus and just like open a hangout and like start talking with my friends if they were like upstairs and I was downstairs. I didn't want to walk up the stairs. These are brains. I want you to tell me what you think about it and uh, whether or not you trust it. All right, so here you go. The first one is Vice. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. Yeah, I've heard of it. What do you think about it? Good, bad, and different. I think they're generally good. Huffington Post. Heard of it? Yeah. What's your perception? I don't really know. I don't really pay attention to the sources. How big, how big it books? Big old, it depends. <laughs> okay. <laughs> depends on what exactly? It depends on the actual content of the article. Okay. All right. BuzzFeed. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and I take their quizzes all the time. It's funny. Go ahead. Why, why you got a winch like that? I, it's just not my thing. Because? 30 cat gifts that'll make your day. <laughs> Number 15 will make you fall over crying. All right. That's what I love about it. <laughs> okay, okay. Gawker. Never heard of it. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Upworthy. Never heard of it. Same category as Busby, but less so. Okay, all right. Marginally. All right. Uh, let's go uh, New York Post. Heard of it? Perception. Um, good, I guess. I think that's what my dad reads. Okay. Maybe. All right. Fair enough. Fairly solid. Fairly solid. Fair, what do you tell me more about that? Again, I'm not completely familiar. Fair enough. But uh, you know, New York Daily News. Heard of it? <laughs> <laughs> good answer. Good answer. Wonderful uh, news source. Wonderful news source. <laughs> 